Okay, so some people have asked uh, how to install the Ocean Rodeo carbon handles or boom onto this is uh, the F1 so they can not have the floppy little webbing handles, you get carbon handles. So these are attached because they go, they flit underneath a piece of webbing, a loop of webbing on the wing. And when you pump up the strut, they get rigid and solid. I mean, they, they are absolutely rigid. You don't need screws, you don't need any of that stuff. They can be removed in seconds and fit onto another wing or just taken out so you can pack it. And they're super light. I mean, this is really cool. So how to do it? Well, you have to open up the strut on the back side. You need to open it up all the way down where you're gonna do any kind of work. I take the bladder completely out um, so I can continue doing the work. Um, I inflate the wing and I mark it, but I've done a few of these so I know where they go. So there's gonna be a webbing at stitch across here. This webbing, it's gonna be on, leave a gap, and then it's gonna be stitched on here and heavy duty at the edges. Then this one, I, I checked it and it's this back piece of webbing. And there's a reinforcement already on the inside here, so it spreads all that load right around that zone. Won't be an issue. That's the front handle. <clears throat> Back handle. I moved it forward a little bit here. It's not a big deal. It's a little bit shorter than the original webbing, which ran all the way to there. But I'm going to put a strap across this webbing. Found it works really well. And over here, there's a reinforcement already on the inside. So it reaches... When it's inflated, I do the marking, not when it's deflated, when it's uh, inflated. So it's got a reinforcement in here. I'm gonna put webbing across here, a base layer. Uh, so, the, so the handle will be sitting on a piece of webbing if it moves or wiggles or anything. And then I'll put the upper strap over that, that will hold that down. So that's how you do it. I'm gonna go to the next step and stitch everything on. I've got webbing pieces cut and ready to go. Uh, like this. I've got them marked for centers and I got them marked for width. It's about a two inch width between, which works out really, really well. And these pieces will all be stitched on and then I will go back and close the seam. All right, so I'll go stitch the webbings on and then I'll continue. Okay, so I wanna show you what I've done here. We've got the webbing stitched on and there's a loop in here. This is two inch width, reinforced. There's the other one. And the other one, so it takes four for the handles. This has got a piece of webbing underneath to expand the load and then one on top because it didn't have the webbing and you want that little bit of wear and tear where that thing is moving, or if it does move, locks in there. So what you have is if you think you're doing this with grandma's sewing machine, you're not because you do have to open up this back main seam and the main seam does take a heavier type duty machine with a thicker type of thread to get that stitched back together. Also, when you're undoing this main seam to do the work, do not undo it all the way up. It's very hard to get your sewing machine back up in here to get that lock. So you always wanna leave a good six, six inches, which makes it difficult to get to the front one, but it, if uh, with some skills, you can get in there. So stop it about right here. So this seam is easy to put back together, but again, this ain't grandma's sewing machine. <laughs> to do that work. So everything is stitched on. Now I'm gonna go and close up the seam. Um, before that, I'm gonna come in here with the heavier type duty machine and I'm gonna do some tacks right here to, uh, a little, it's just to reinforce and take this load a little bit more right where the handle slips up underneath there. So I'll go with that done, close up the seam, and then it's install the bladder and handles in and inflate and check. All right, we got everything done. Got this all closed back up the main seam. Got the handles installed, wing pumped up. Now you can see how solid they are. They don't move. So you wanna control an eight meter wing, that's how you do it. No more floppy handles, completely solid. You, you can't twist, you can't move these things. So now all direct pumping goes right in directly into those handles. There you go. This guy will be stoked and have some fun. Another CWC made solid. All right, so we got everything installed, main seam closed back up, carbon handles installed. Now the question people ask is how, how hard and how rigid they are. They won't move. 
These things are just fully solid. So now this person has absolute control over this big wing. That's how you stabilize a big wing.